Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about using the Live Forensicator PowerShell script to gather Windows system information. Live Forensicator is a PowerShell script that will aid forensic investigators and incidents responders in carrying out a quick live forensic investigation. It achieves this by gathering different system information for further review for anomalous behavior or unexpected data entry. For this lab demonstration, I will be using Forensicator to examine a Windows 10 target machine. But Forensicator can be used to examine a PC or a server, either standalone or as a domain controller. I am currently up here on the GitHub site, and this link is available for you inside of the lab file. But it's very easy to find by just going to Google and typing in download live dash forensicator. Now the first thing we have to do is download the entire package. So to do this, I'm going to go over here to where it says code. And from the context menu, I'm going to select download the zip file. Once the zip file has been downloaded, just go on over and find your download location. In this case, it's going to be in my downloads folder. And there it is. Now, once you have the file downloaded, all you have to do is just double click it and it's going to want to extract. Go ahead and extract all and you can extract it to the same location. Once the files have been extracted, go ahead and open up the folder and inside the folder, you're going to find a forensicator.psi1 script. This is a PowerShell script, and this is the extension for PowerShell scripts. Once you have the folder open and you've located the PowerShell script for Forensicator, just go ahead and right click on it. And from the context menu, you're going to select Run with PowerShell. You're going to go ahead and accept the warning message. And Forensicator should open up. But if you are prompted to invoke the running of scripts inside of PowerShell, just go ahead and type in an A after the prompt and that will allow you to run unsigned scripts. Now the first thing you have to do when you open up Forensicator is begin a case. Now you're going to do this by typing in your name. I'll type in my name. Hit enter. Now I want a case reference number. We're just going to make up one. I'm going to type in 0001. It will next want you to give the case a user-friendly name. I'm going to type in example hit enter and it wants the location i'm currently in the philippines i'll hit enter enter description of the device i'm currently using a pc hit enter and now it's going to begin the process of gathering the information now this is a windows 10 machine now there will be some problems perhaps with the firewall rules and such but you can ignore those now once the script has completed, it will automatically close out. And once the machine has gathered all the information it needs, it's going to create a subfolder inside of the location of where you launched the script from. So in this case, the name of my machine is called XPAT. If I open up this subfolder for XPAT, you'll see that I have a number of HTML documents in here that were generated and created once the Forensicator script had found the information it was looking for. So you can go into the networking HTML document, for example. You can open that up and you'll have all the networking information that was gathered from running this particular script on this particular machine. We can go ahead and close that out. And if we go back into the folder for our machine, which has the information that was generated from the Forensicator, we can look at the processes, the system, or the users that are currently available on this machine. Let's take a look at processes. So this is a list of all the processes that are currently running on this machine. So I would be looking for an anomaly, such as a process that I can't identify, or that doesn't have a name, or I don't see a path clearly to it. That might be an indicator that this machine has been infected with some type of malware. Again, this program, Forensicator, is not capable of any intelligence gathering per se. That's going to be up to the investigator. You're going to be given the information, but it's going to be up to the investigator to go through the information and look for any anomalies. 
And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how we could use the PowerShell script Live Forensicator to carry out a very quick live forensic investigation. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.